Welcome to East Coast LQ Reviews, and today I got another uh, single malt scotch. Uh, this is actually a uh, pretty well known, pretty popular single malt scotch. This is uh, Glen Morangy, um, the original 10 year. And um, I just like to say, um, I believe this is the most often sold uh, single malt scotch in Scotland, so I'm pretty sure it's pretty popular. Um, so I actually already drank about, I want to say, about half of my bottle. Um, so I still got a decent amount left. Um, I got the whiskey jug pulled up over here, but before I go over that, I just like to say um, the ABV on this or alcohol by volume. So it's bottled at uh, uh, 43% alcohol by volume. Um, it says distilled and matured in uh, Rossshire, uh, produced in Scotland since 1843, and it says perfected by the 16th, uh, no, the 16 men of uh, stain, of Tain, sorry. 16 men of Tain says right on the front um, so now I'm gonna read some notes off the whiskey jug um, so the nose on this is supposed to be uh, floral fruity honey banana nut muffin and malt um, the taste is supposed to be tropical fruit orchard fruit malt and honey and the finish is supposed to be medium to long um, with rich tropical fruit and malt um, so I've actually already tried this myself and uh, I have a little bit of a different opinion on this. Um, so let's go for the aroma. Um, so for on the aroma, you definitely get right up front, you get like a nice um, earthy, kind of malty aroma to it. Um, definitely get kind of like a honey sweetness and almost... Um, like a sweet natural uh, like vanilla cream um, so it says fruity so for the fruits that I kind of pick up um, I get apples and uh, and pears apples and pears I get for the fruity um, aroma um, so yeah I really don't get much of that banana nut muffin um, so let's go for the taste So uh, the taste right up front, um, you get like a, a heavy citrus, um, and I think that's kind of what they mean by tropical fruit. I could be wrong, but um, yeah, I definitely get like a heavy citrus, and then I, um, I get, um, for the orchard fruits, I definitely get, I taste apples and pears. Um, so right up front, you get like a burst of these fruity flavors. Um, and then you definitely get like a nice malt undertone um, and a honey sweetness to it um, so the finish to me with the finish I get like a lingering cinnamon spice um, along with the malt and I also get a nice um, undertone of citrus as well that lingers um, along with that um, uh, cinnamon in the, the malt. Um, overall, definitely a really good uh, single malt scotch for the price. Um, if you're someone who's uh, just starting to get into scotch, this is definitely a, a good choice for something to try for your first time. Um, oh yeah, also I like to say the feel on this. Um, Mouth feels very smooth and uh, flavorful. Um, you uh, you definitely don't taste uh, like it definitely don't taste like it's watered down at all. So there's lots of flavor to this. Um, you get a little bit of heat. Um, so it's got a little bit of an alcohol kick to it. Um, but it's really good. So uh, yeah, price on this I believe was uh, thirty six thirty six dollars. Um, I'm not sure if I went over the color. But uh, yeah, the color is kind of like a clear honey. Uh, some might say like a pale honey color to it. Um, and yeah, for the price, I mean, thirty-six dollars uh, for this single malt scotch is definitely a great price. Um, I believe this is Glenmorangie's uh, entry-level scotch, which is basically 
their uh, their youngest youngest whiskey, basically you can say, or their their entry level is basically like their their uh, runner up or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, uh, this is sold pretty good in uh, Scotland, like I said. Um, so for uh, a rating on this, um, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. Um, with that being said, it was, it's because uh, the price is great. $36 for a single malt scotch is definitely a good price. Um, and for an entry level at 10 years, um, this just goes to show that when you actually take your time to perfect something, um, you can get a great quality product. And a lot of people say for a 10 year, um, this is actually very hard to uh, copy. Um, so basically, um, they're saying that the smoothness and the flavor for this is magnificent for a 10 year, basically. Um, so yeah, uh, rating, I'm going to give it an eight and a half. Uh, recommendation, yeah, I definitely recommend this. If, um, like I said, if you're someone who's just starting to get into single malt scotch, and maybe you haven't tried scotch before, um, this definitely isn't too much. $36 isn't uh, too expensive. But uh, yeah, um, this is an entry level. Um, you could also get Glenfiddich 12 or Glenlivet 12, which I still have to review on my channel. But those are some other uh, great entry level uh, scotches for someone who's just starting to get into the whiskey world, um, single malt scotch world. Um, but yeah, there you have it. Uh, totally recommend Glenmorangie 10 year. Uh, like I said, I'm going to give it a rating 8.5 out of 10. And uh, yeah, if there's any other liquor beers you like to see on my channel, or maybe some single malt scotches you like to see, definitely leave a comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos on liquor and beer. Thanks for watching. Cheers.